started. On this episode of SV Bella Luna, we're going to take a look at homeschooling, what we've been up to since last episode, and more news on a boat search. Stay tuned. Homeschooling. Hmm, what can I say about homeschooling? I can tell you this, if you would have asked me two years ago if I'd ever be homeschooling my kids, I'd have said hell no. But as it turns out, it's been one of the most enjoyable things so far. I really love spending time with my daughters, and to be honest, I'm learning quite a bit too. So we got through our first day of homeschooling, pretty cool. Um, actually sit down and take the time to, the, to learn with the girls and uh, get things rolling. That was a big, a big one for us, I know, for Jana. Um, she was stressing pretty hard on how we were gonna react to, to homeschooling and how the girls were gonna react to us, but it went pretty well. Bella's in fourth grade, and we've decided to keep her on the curriculum that she was on before we left. We met with her teacher before we left California and we got a hold of some textbooks and some workbooks and with the weekly emails that the teacher sends out, we've been keeping her on pace. What are you working on? Khan Academy? Yes. As for Luna, she's preschool age and we decided to sign her up for abcmouse.com. I know, as cheesy as the commercials seem, the program really is good. She loves it. She just thinks she's playing games and she really seems to be learning quite a bit. We also supplement with some workbooks that we got at Michael's. And she seems to have quite a bit of fun just coloring away and learning her letters and learning her shapes. She even busted out what a cylinder is the other day. It took me by surprise. We eat breakfast as a family every day. And then at 9 a.m. we get right into schoolwork. I build the curriculum for pretty much the week before and we get into it and we just keep going and going until we're done. We got quizzes on Fridays and Saturdays and Sundays off. Mondays seem to be the only really difficult day to get back to work. But with a little coaxing we get back into a rhythm and get it going and all is good. With the girls doing so well in school we decided to add an extra half an hour to the day. We downloaded an app from the iTunes store called Duolingo and we've decided to learn Spanish together. We already speak Portuguese so we figured it wouldn't be too difficult to add Spanish into the mix. So far we've been excited with the results and look forward to more homeschooling in the future. If you have anything that works for you that you'd love to share with us, please do in the comments below. I know we're skipping around a little bit, but the last episode we left you with about 36 inches of snow and everybody frolicking. Well, we had one snowstorm. It started to melt a bit, and then we had another snowstorm. And then, well, I think we had another one. The girls growing up in Southern California never really had too much experience playing in the snow. As for Luna, it was her first time, second time, and third time. And we soon realized that her favorite pastime is, well, eating snow. <laughs> Isabella, being the good sister she is, had to give her the warning about not eating yellow snow. The dogs were pretty hyped on it at first, but after a while, they really couldn't care less. I wasn't really hyped on walking the dogs twice a day in the snow, nor was I hyped on shoveling it. And Jana, well, she was psyched with her book in front of the fire. All kidding aside, it really was beautiful and a pretty cool way to start out this adventure. Finally the snow started to melt and the mercury started to head north. We took the chance to get out to Oregon Ridge Park and stretch our legs and get some exercise. After a heroic play structure rescue and a brush with some wildlife, we decided to take a walk around and do some hiking. We hiked the trails about, I don't know, three or four miles. Uh, hi, are you 
but the park itself was really nice. It's about a 1,043 acre park that features cross-country skiing, sledding, it's got a nature center and amphitheater for concerts, miles and miles of hiking trails, and in the summer it's even got a swimming beach. It's a really cool park and for more information on it go to OregonRidgeNatureCenter.org. Soon enough, Valentine's Day was on us, and even old Boobaloo was getting in on the spirit of things. We all got loaded up on as much chocolate as we possibly could. Chocolate. Wow. Hey, look, Brian, 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 Working on our boat search, seems it's coming uh, coming around a little bit. We've had a kind of a rough start with some of the brokers that we ran into. Kind of seemed like we were uh, trying to buy a house with a used car salesman, but we've connected with a good broker and uh, made some progress. We've actually put in an offer on a boat, which uh, went back and forth and it's been accepted. So uh, we are moving forward. I realized once the deal was done that I put a huge chunk of money down on a boat that I hadn't even seen yet. Well, without much arm twisting, Broker Dan and I were on flights to St. Thomas. Then, in the taxi to the ferry dock. And finally, winding up in Tortola. Oh, made it. We were up early, with the roosters in fact. Literally. Out to meet Dan. How are you? Good to see you this morning. <laughs> Another day in paradise. Huh? Well, Dan was off to a chipper start. I was lagging a little bit, so we had to swing by and get some coffee on our way over to the marina. Surveyor we hired got an early start yesterday and was going to continue into today. Dan and I were headed over there to meet up with him and the other broker. We were going to take the boat over for a haul out and let the surveyor do his thing and then I'll gather back and take her out for a sea trial. We'll have to get into the survey, sea trial, and more about the boat next episode. So be sure you come back and check it out. Might as well hit the subscribe button down there as well. Thanks for watching. Ciao ciao from SV Bella Luna.